Lucas Media. So legendary rapper slash executive 50 Cent talked about his previous beef with Cameron and Fat Joe and Jada Kiss. And he says he actually regrets that. In an interview, he says, quote, look, I think we wasted too much time arguing me and Fat Joe, me and Cameron. There's other guys like Jada Kiss. We cleared it up, but we wasted time because it was just competitive. It was just a competitive nature. It wasn't like we crossed paths and had real heat for each other. Now, all of this came because 50 Cent pretty much, you know, changed Ja Rule Murdering's trajectory. And Fat Joe and Jada Kiss did. I'm from New York with Ja Rule, which is a hot record. I, I like the record. Then 50 Cent came at Ja, I mean, Fat Joe and Jada Kiss with Piggy Bank. Any to shine and you know a couple other people, but but looking back, you know you can see, I see I, I see where he's going. I'm gonna be honest. When Fifty came at Ja Rule, all Ja Rule fans turned at him. Now when Fifty was first coming up, eh, but when Fifty blew up, it was like you was uncool to listen to Ja Rule. Don't try to deny it. I personally was a wasn't a fan of the Lad Temptations, but when Fifty came out and was on Get Rich and Die Trying. Pretty much nobody listen to Murder Inc. no more. Don't sit here and deny it. We all know that that's true. Then Ja Rule comes back. Well, I'm from New York. And like I said, it was, it was a solid, dope record. So 50 in his mind felt like he had to get at Fat Joe and Jada Kiss to make sure would nobody else deal with Ja Rule. He said that in previous interviews. And if you read the 40 Laws of Power, talk about how crushing your enemies totally. See, they, they had real issues. You know, and they might have been one of the first real rappers to have real issues like outside of rap. Yeah, Nas and Jay-Z had their issues, but it was nothing like 50 and Jaw Wife. They literally tried to kill in each other's careers. So he did that. And then, um, you know, Fat Joe, he ain't no chum. He ain't going to back down. He ain't back down. And Jada Kiss didn't back down. And then I remember what Cameron and them got into it because 50 Cent said Koch was the graveyard and on Hot 97 that Cameron went out. This is all this is all online as well. So it kind of, you know, it it may at least I would say people like fans like us, it felt like we had to pick sides because like I said, they was dissing each other on each other's songs. And I really feel like that's what kind of caused New York to break up. Because prior to that, New York had like their own sound. They had their own entity. And you know, this is before really, I guess the internet, social medias. So, you know, down south had their own style. The Midwest, we had our own style. The West Coast had their own style. New York had their own style. And it seemed like that beef, you know, you, you had to pick sides and people wouldn't work together. And then to me, New York started sounding like Atlanta and it just never recovered. Just like imagine 50 Cent and Fat Joe being on each other's albums and Jada Kiss. And then you got Mess Around and Jada Kiss and Lloyd Banks do a group album, you know, a joint album or whatever. Like, those are the things that could have happened. But. You know, unfortunately, the whole beef thing, it just it made people separate. And I also feel like that was just the downfall of just of just like 50 Cent as far as the impact of his music. You can see he was slowly shifting because memory was doing a straight DVDs, movies, the DVDs. People was laughing out about that. But I wonder if they still laughing now. But, you know, it just it made people turn. That's where, you know, the whole people started saying stuff about G unit. And it just I don't know. It's 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 not good for business to always be beefing the whole jaw rule thing that's different but when he was going at fat joe and cameron and like look how big these guys are still now you know fat joe got his thing cameron got his own show you know jada kiss is still out there relevant so th those guys would have worked better together than apart and it's good now to see that they all you know together in some form or fashion you know other than jaw rule you know 50 and jaw rule will never be cool but you know, I agree. It was it was, a, it was a waste of time, and who knows? Who knows if how how big they could have got working together? You know what I mean? But that was a crazy time back in the day. Like I said, that was when the internet was just taking off. So you started having the internet, but people still was trying to be on TV, and you know that it was just a different time back then. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Do y'all agree? Disagree? Do y'all feel like, personally, especially my audience in New York, do y'all feel like that started breaking up New York, the New York sound, the New York style? But yeah, let me know what y'all think.